Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hotsusi and welcome back to Factorio, where we try to beat this game with trains that we don't have yet and a minimal use of belts and uh, transporting items on those belts. So we made a good start here in our base where we have production up for the green and the red signs and by the looks of it we are producing more than we need for our research so oh, let's go ahead craft a few more uh, of these uh, of these um, labs so we can do even faster research because the goal today is to reach the rail so rails are here for that we need the uh, engines that we already have queued up we also need the logistics um, but rail alone is not good we will also need uh, the uh, signals or the stations uh, I think the signals where do the signal the signals come here and then we probably also need to have the uh, fluid wagons and they come with that we probably also want to have proper rail infrastructure um, we need a bit uh, larger span for our electric poles so let's queue that up as well and once we have that and that's then probably something for next episode we have to try and figure out uh, proper setup uh, or layout for our uh, um, for our uh, rail infrastructure we had something that worked last time but uh, this time around I really would like to uh, to uh, get to the point um, where I and have a blueprint that's that's tileable but that's something we struggled last time uh, we did something similar and it's probably taking a bit to to figure these things out let's also have a look at power yeah we might reach max there so maybe it's time to add a bit more and that doubling up here should really help with the uh with our power consumption then let's add uh, these labs let's craft two more just so we can have a nice grid also deal with that power situation because more laps means more power consumption so we should ensure that we are not falling behind there 
and here let's try to do this with uh, with a uh, bit of belt so we don't have to run around filling these chests with coal. Um, and let's bring that down here. There. That's it. And yeah, now we can see with the additional labs we're maxing out the power output that we can have but we should see that resolved as soon as the other um, uh, engines get coal as well yeah now we have doubled it and we roughly consume 50 percent so let's add the belt there as well so as soon as these boxes are empty uh, we can add the missing pieces there as well and now i would assume um, here on top we are missing the power with that we might have um, reached the, the limit of our production um, let's wait a while and see if uh, the uh, queued up science is going down or if we are still producing more than we actually consume it looks like even with the additional labs, our production of green and red science flasks is keeping up. And I placed another assembly machine down here for some uh, um, engines because we need those for the trains. But also I thought maybe a car would be nice so we could uh, explore the map a bit more because uh, we want to expand we also need a bit of uh, uh, space to to uh, try out and come up with uh, with layout for our trains um, also probably want to clear out a bit more the uh, nests nearby before the pollution reaches them um, and I did queue a lap speed because uh, apparently we are producing enough sun specs. Um, also, a bit uh, of uh, more inventory space, uh, but then we can queue those up. Uh, we set the, the car and the signals and then uh, the, the, the stations and then the, the, the signals and all will come in good time i hope down here yes now the 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 front two um, boilers have run out of uh, coal from the boxes so let's connect them that way and that should help uh, is the production of power. Now I think once I have once I have uh, uh, the car uh, and maybe I can craft some more of the yellow ammunition uh, a few more uh, gun turrets uh, so that um, I can go out and uh, capture these two nests and then uh, the next thing after green and 
red signs will be blue signs and for that we need oil so we need to keep an eye out for that as well because with the with the setup or with the challenge in this series where i only transport ores liquids and science packs um, it's a bit of a nuisance if we have to smelt the ores on site and uh, for the smelting also need coal so the electric furnaces are preferred uh, until we, we reach that step but for the moment we are still working towards our trains we are done with rail and down here i have prepared something that should help us build those rails um because we will need quite a few next up on the list is the car but i think our queue is empty enough yes so we can uh, actually queue the other things that we also need here and then this and then we probably also want to get a few of those things out of the way now that i have a car let's actually see about those alien nests up there what could go wrong looks like we have quite a few trees around our area which is good against the uh, aliens not so good to find a way through here so let's stop here then yes that's that's working that's still close enough are targeting me and uh, not the uh, the gun turrets now I can repair them and we have cleared out a one nest with the cheap yellow ammunition and we have up here that's probably some worms and we have a nest there and another big nest up there there is a bigger nest. Ooh, and down there, there is some oil that we will need in due time. So let me clear out uh, the other things up here uh, while we're waiting on the uh, on the research for the for the for the other uh, train things there. There, a few auto worms are going. I managed to clear out the nests here on top and uh, uncover a bit more area, especially around here, uh, around oil. And we can see here on this side, we have a bit of open space that we can use to try out the layout for our rail network. But then here along the border, there are some more alien nests. They are not terribly big, so eventually we will have to take care of them. Um, but I think I still need to stockpile a few more rails before we can really venture 
into switching to the rail setup. So until next time I will do just that and probably also hobbling along with some more research that we can do here um, and yeah I think we need to go in that direction so we can have chemical signs um, so we can get the uh, advanced metal processing too for the electrical furnaces but that's it for today hope you enjoyed it and tune in also next time for more factorio uh, with me all right then have a good one goodbye